really number one. Mm -hmm. Old Time Road broke on TikTok. Mm -hmm. We didn't pick that up on radio. TikTok broke so that. TikTok. TikTok is number one. All right, what else? Yeah, right. From there. All right. So, how the music business is ran. Uh, I feel like this is a long conversation that could be had, but it's going to be brief. I just thought this was interesting. And um, this is only one perspective and one point of view, because not necessarily this happens all the time. No, this record label, uh, I believe he has his own record label, because he basically signed Blueface. Um, but um, that's neither here nor there. He speaks upon kind of his approach and his view on music and how it works. He's saying the base of music is pretty much going right now is TikTok. You have a record that goes crazy on TikTok. Ultimately, they're going to want to hear the full song. It's kind of like a YouTube video as far as an intro or like a clickbait thumbnail. Feel what I'm saying? It's basically, he's saying that TikTok basically would want you to listen to the full song. By that, he means, boom, after you listen to 20, 30 seconds of the song on TikTok, you're going to go to Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play, whatever the case, wherever you listen to your music at, and stream whatever song. Then, therefore, you potentially might stream the album or whatever else comes after that. And after that, you might want to see the music video that basically was created and shot from that. Now, this is the, and that's an interesting point of view and perspective. But I feel as though that's only for little kids. Now, I don't see a 25-year-old watching TikToks all day. Feel what I'm saying? Another point, of, like, Jay-Z isn't going to be on TikTok. Feel what I'm saying? Um, and if he's talking about maybe more new artists, if he's speaking about more new artists, that's not even necessarily the case either. Feel what I'm saying? Most new artists are either came up up under somebody else, hey, I signed this person, have a hit already that was made, maybe it was on SoundCloud at first. Feel what I'm saying? Maybe they've been going crazy on SoundCloud because that that's actually been a key point, going crazy on SoundCloud, then all of a sudden they broke through potentially on YouTube, which led feel me, to the video going viral on YouTube to let, you feel me, to let into Spotify plays and things of that nature. It's a lot of different ways you could think about it or go about music and how it's basically circusing around. Crazy thing is, the lifestyle of music don't really have to go one way. A lot of people feel like maybe it have to go one way. Like this, regular label owner, made a method and he has his own method. You feel me? He feel as if hopefully I don't hopefully this guy don't think like this is the only way how music works. You know what I'm saying? Because SoundCloud is really a pivotal moment for a lot of younger people. You feel me? Um so many artists broke on broke on SoundCloud. You feel me? So many legendary artists. Russ, I feel like it's the most one of the most successful artists and he broke on SoundCloud. You feel me? I feel like he ain't most of his fans and most of his supporters on SoundCloud. Now, I, I feel like it maybe it's a lot less than what it used to be, but it's a beautiful moment, you know what I'm saying? Chance the Rapper even blo broke on SoundCloud. Like, so many artists, you know what I'm saying? Um, even if he's saying, like, now TikTok is the way, you feel me? Um, maybe TikTok is the way to go viral, to go trending, but... To keep a successful and to to keep a, a core, I don't think TikTok is the way. Like TikTok is the way for a single for to get you some streams. You feel me? I don't think TikTok is for because I don't think those kids are. I think they only like once that song go viral or once you feel me. I think they only care about that one song. I don't think oh this artist is amazing. No, I don't think you feel me. Even if. Oh, shoot, go to YouTube. I see the music video of that to the song. You know, like, I feel like after that, it's over with. You feel me? It's back to whoever they listen to on, on the daily, you know? I don't think TikTok is creating generational supporters. Uh, 
as for SoundCloud, I feel like it was, you know, like I, when I say it, I mean, I don't I still don't feel like it's creating what it used to what it used to create. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's out here doing what it used to do for artists um, as much because I feel like it's so much other stuff, so many other platforms, so many other things that uh, people are using nowadays, you know, um, it's not, it's not the same anymore. You feel what I'm saying? Um, and then you got to realize, all right, what artists use it? You feel me? Like what, what the youth of artists, what the next set of, what the, what's the next 20, 20 hottest musicians are using in rap or in any type of culture? You feel me? That, that plays a part because if we don't know who's the next hottest 20 artists, but if they're, if none of them artists or maybe two of those artists are using SoundCloud, um, then obviously they're not going to come from SoundCloud. You feel me? Um, and it's just lower the value down of SoundCloud. You feel me? That's how I felt as though apps die out, even though they have had so many legendary uh, artists come through there. You feel me? But uh, it's an interesting point of view. Like, if you, it, that's not a bad theory that he made. You feel me? That's a good way to maneuver around the business. I'm just saying as far as um, creating supporters and really people that really care about the music and really is here buying every single thing you potentially put out. Uh, merch, this, that, supporting, pulling up, actually pulling up. I don't think you no know, TikTok, people that's watching TikTok, like most of these kids probably range from ages to probably five, six to maybe... 13, 14, maybe 16, you feel me? But I don't think those, you feel me? Like, maybe they're fan, they, the people they cared about already, but newer artists, song go viral, all right, we finna do this TikTok, but we don't care about, you feel me, his album he just dropped. But it's a good theory nonetheless. Like, I feel like people could use that to create more wealth and more streams, but... I don't know. Maybe it's a different method. Think I should take the camera? Hmm? Think I should take the camera? Mm hmm. You still getting videos? Huh? <laughs> so you still getting videos? You leaving right now, right now? Not right now. I'm gonna take them out. Yeah, they're not gonna be done by then. But I really don't need them because I still haven't edited the other videos. So that's um, but uh, the reason why I added this clip before my videos is because I feel like people expect me to put the whole entire video inside of my video, which they could just go watch the actual video if they wanted to have or see the whole video. Tell them why though. Well, it's because of copyrighted reasons. You know what I'm saying? It's a copyrighted issue. You know, if you take if you if if I get if I want to make my own barbecue sauce, and I literally just steal the their ingredients right off the back of the the bottle or whatever the case, I could easily get sued. But if I use salt or some sort of other ingredient ex to add to it, or maybe take away, then I easily could sell my own barbecue sauce. What? They can tell that you're not. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I just need this video to be two minutes. That's why it's dragging out this long. But yeah. Hold on. Too bad to be telling my camera. I look sexy. Excuse me? I'm sexy and I know it. That's not sexy. Should I get